Happy Halloween, everyone! So Halloween is one of my favorite holidays, and this year I finally had the time, space, and energy to actually go all out on the decorations. So I decided to turn my house into the Haunted Mansion. Haunted Mansion is one of my absolute favorite Disney rides, and I am very excited to spend the next month playing Imagineer and recreating various elements of the ride for my house. So first things first, I got a 3D printed replica of the plaque from the front gate of the ride. I got this from Props Your Way on Etsy. I will drop their link down in my description. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to give it a little paint job, make it a little more metallic like looking, like looking like it's a metal sign. The sign in the parks has sort of like the like green like oxidized copper look to it on a lot of the parts. So I am going to be doing that. I knew going into this that 90% of these initial metallic layers wouldn't be visible on the end product, but the trick to a believable weathering job is to build the aged version on top of the original clean version. I'm very glad I took the time to do all these layers underneath the main oxidized finish because, as you may have noticed later, little bits and pieces of these layers peek through in the final look. Thank you. 
All right, next on the docket is the punny gravestones from the courtyard queue. Now, originally I was planning on getting those like foam mats or shaped like puzzle pieces and carving them into gravestone shapes, but I wasn't really certain how I was actually going to do said carving because I don't really have the tools for that kind of thing. And when I went to Michael's to get the foam mats for that, I ended up finding that they had these wooden gravestone signs that are a perfect size and will actually fit in my tiny yard. So I'm just going to remove these hangers from them and put stakes on the back so I can stick them into the grass. I also found this really cool uh, stone texture spray paint. So the first thing I'm gonna do after removing the hangers is spray paint them so that they look like stone. All right, I didn't film the process because I didn't think you guys needed to see my weird spray painting stance, but I have painted the gravestones. I wasn't able to do the backs because oddly, the spray paint did not last long enough. I ran out after doing the fronts, so whatever, it's fine. <laughs> no one will see the backs anyway. So next I'm going to put the words on the gravestones. We're gonna do it in pencil first because if I screw up in pencil, it doesn't matter. If I screw up in paint, it's all over, so. I would just like it to be known that very carefully painting round letters in this fashion is the actual worst. Now that I have finished lettering all of the gray stones, it's time to wet them up a bit and glue some stakes on the back so I can stick them in the ground. Because of the roughness of the stone texture spray paint, I totally wrecked this sponge brush while doing this, but I have more and they're cheap, so it was totally worth it. Thank you. 
The final thing that I am making is Madame Leota. So for those who don't know names of things in the Haunted Mansion, that is the crystal ball with a lady's head in it telling fortunes as you ride by on your dune buggy. So for doing this, I have a big acrylic orb that is technically used for like outdoor lights, like lantern kind of things. And I am going to put stuff in it. I have polyfill and some little blue fairy lights that I'm going to do for making sort of like a cloudy blue effect in there. And my original plan was to do a wig head that I would uh, paint up and put a wig on it that I am destroyed by accident and <laughs> put that all in here. But the hole is not big enough to fit a wig head or in fact a real head. And I don't know how to make it bigger without cracking the ball. So what I'm going to experiment with doing first is I'm going to find a really good quality picture on the internet of Madame Leota's face and print it out and see how that works in there with the polyfill and lights and everything. If it doesn't work, I will figure things out from there. So on my porch we have a little table, so that's where I'll be setting this. And from the roof ceiling of the porch, the cover part, I will be hanging with clear thread uh, tarot cards. Um, not actual tarot cards because I want to use my deck for my Molly Mock cosplay, but I'm going to print out larger versions that they're more readable, you know, and have those floating around. Okay, so it took me approximately 30 years to get into this stupid battery pack. I had to use a nail file to pry it open, so that's ridiculous. My thumbs are, like, dead. I now have pretty blue lights. Oops, okay. Lights! All right, first things first, I'm gonna test sticking these lights in the polyfill just to see sort of how they diffuse, to see whether the blue shows through enough. Cause if not, I'm gonna be picking up some dye and dyeing a bit of polyfill to make it more blue. Okay, so this is sort of how it ends up glowing through in little dots. I will be dispersing them a bit more in a way, I think. We'll see. More experimentation will need to happen. You know what I did not think of? Gravity. So while I figure out how to work with gravity on this, I did print out Madame Leota. I don't know why it's kind of streaky. Don't know, a lot of ink maybe. So we're gonna put her in here and see how this goes. We have more problems with gravity. cut off the borders I think. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ah! I have figured it out. Yes. I do need to cut off the white borders on this though. And then I can figure out. Ooh, and I just fill the rest of this with polyfill and lights. Okay. I think I figured it out. We're good. After I cut off the borders, I used a very small amount of double-sided tape on the top corners of the picture to keep it from falling down inside the bowl. Alright, I have put the madame inside the ball. Now just time to fill it up with polyfill and lights.
Okay, I do believe I have got a successful distribution. I'm gonna put like a paper plate in the bottom of this to like hold it all in. Um, and yeah, that was weirdly easy. <laughs> For the tarot cards, I just found images on the internet along with one of the Haunted Mansion wallpaper for card backs and put them in a document to size them and printed them out. I then cut off the borders, folded the cards in half, and glued them shut. The backs ended up being a bit narrower than the fronts, but that wouldn't end up mattering too much. My original plan to hang them with fishing line was incompatible with breezes, so instead I used painter's tape to stick them to the wall above Madame Leota. And there we have it! Making all of this stuff was a whole lot of fun and I'm really happy with how it turned out, so I think I'm probably going to add a little bit more next year and the year after that and just keep building on it until it's absolutely insane. I hope you all have a wonderful and safe Halloween and I will see you next time.